Sweetgrass is a widely used and revered sacred plant that continues to play an important role in indigenous cultures. Chef Krista Bruno Gunther, owner of Feast Cafe Bistro in Winnipeg, and from the Salto Cree French Métis Peguis First Nation, is here with us today to show us that you can cook with it too. Krista, tell me about these beautiful braids of sweetgrass I'm holding. First, I want to ask you, have you ever smelled or ever worked with sweetgrass before? I have not worked with this before. It's gorgeous in the braid. I've never smelt it before. Smells amazing. So Krista, tell us a little bit more about the cultural significance that sweetgrass has in the indigenous culture. Sweetgrass Tracy is known as the hair of Mother Earth, and it grows throughout the prairies here in Canada. Each braid represents kindness, peace, and love. Hence, when you smell it, you have that feeling of peace, or it may have represented body, mind, and soul. Indigenous communities use it for multiple purposes. They would use it for stuffing it in pillows or making carpets. They would also use it for medicinal purposes. So they would steep it in tea and use it for coughs, colds, fevers, or for afterbirth because it does thin the blood. It was also used for ceremony and I think many diff all different cultures use it for different purposes. I actually love incorporating in a lot of my dishes as well these days. I think that is great. And what I also have here, which is gorgeous, is uh, sweet grass and oil. So what might this be uh, used for, Krista? Yeah, I've been incorporating sweet grass into so many of my dishes. I incorporated it into this beautiful olive oil, which I use for salads, marinades, different items. I actually snip a piece off and I'll put it in some of my roasts. I'll put it in some dry rubs for my ribs. I actually put it sometimes in my wild rice and I've kind of put a little piece as it's cooking. And sweetgrass has a very mild, sweet aroma, kind of a cross between vanilla and hay. So it kind of infuses that into some of these foods and dishes. So many multiple uses for it, uh, but we are going to, I think, have an experiment today with this beautiful sweetgrass infused olive oil. Yeah, we're gonna do a couple of things with it. So let's do the salad. You're gonna make a salad for us first. How do we put mm -hmm. that all together? Yeah, you know, it's springtime. Uh, salad greens are the first that pop up in my garden. So I just have some simple spring greens here. Um, I'm gonna show you how to make the dressing. I have some toasted almonds, some salty feta, and of course it's berry season. So I have a few uh, raspberries and some blueberries. You could use one or the other. So I'm just going to take this sweet grass olive oil here. Oh, it smells so good. And I believe you have some at home, so you'll have to make this. So just three parts. So about three tablespoons of the olive oil. Mm -hmm. I got this fresh lemon here. So just about a tablespoon of lemon juice. Some of this beautiful Dijon mustard, and that just kind of helped everything to bind together. Sorry, got <laughs> salt and pepper. <laughs> Good pinch of salt, and you know, I think you know, there's so much health in uh, sweet grass, and that's why I just love incorporating it into my dishes. Um, it's a real honor to cook with it. Um, as a chef, I just try and incorporate as many medicines into my cooking these days. So yeah, it's very good. So you just pour that on your salad and voila, there is your lemon sweetgrass infused olive oil salad dressing. It looks beautiful. Tea ingredients, always the best. Yeah. So we've done Thank a salad. You. Now we're going to make a tea and I'm going to make this with you. So just walk me through the steps uh, and it's using sweetgrass. What do we do? So just get your water boiling. I got mine here on the stove top. And get your beautiful sweet grass. Mm. <laughs> I could just smell this all day. It's you good. Want peace, just go smell your sweet grass. <laughs> so just take a little uh, one inch. It, it, you could just take a little one inch snip from your sweet grass. I like to use scissors. And you can put it, if you have a, an infuser, you can uh, put it in there, or you can just put it right into your, into your cup. Okay. And, you know, sometimes I like, sometimes I like to incorporate like another tea, a loose tea, like a berry tea or a lemon ginger goes really well, uh, you know, or just simple lemon. Um, 
I love fresh lemon in my tea. Me too. It's very simple. You just boil water and pour it on and it just gives it a sweet vanilla, almost smoky flavor. And it's just lovely and it coats your throat. So I've got mine ready and I put a little bit of lemon in it and I'm just going to take a sip. Mmm. Mmm. Really nice, really nice flavor. You're right, a little bit of vanilla, mm -hmm. a little bit of smokiness. Mm -hmm. Chef Krista, mm -hmm. it has been mm -hmm. lovely having you with us today and introducing us to sweetgrass. I think that it is uh, a, a, an incredible ingredient that a lot of us can start adding in, and I love the history of it as well. So thank you for giving that to us.